Hey, what is up guys? This is me, the ITKHQ, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about iOS 8 hidden features. So I was able to find about 13 to 14 uh, features of uh, hidden features of iOS 8, so uh, let's jump straight in. Alright guys, so the first one is going to be the camera app. So if I get into the camera app, you guys will be able to see a timer. So we have 3 seconds, 10 seconds, and then no timer option right towards the top right hand corner if you're using a device in landscape mode as you guys can see right here so if i select the three second mode all you have to do is then press that shutter button and after three seconds is going to take that photo uh, the second feature i'm going to be talking to you guys about is also in camera and it actually talks about uh, it's actually about uh, exposure and focus so now you can actually uh, manually um, you know select any exposure and the change the exposure and the, that does not affect the actual focus of the image as well so basically when I tap this uh, box right here you guys will be able to see the small you know drag uh, kind of an icon right there so if you drag it up it's going to make it uh, lighter and if I drag it down it's going to make it a bit better so the contrast ratio is going to be better now the third feature I'm going to be talking about is going to be rich text editing so if you really use Notes app, now you are also able to get a bold italics and underline as well. Now the fourth feature is going to be about messaging. So I've got two features talking about the messages app. The first one is the ability to store messages. So as you guys can see, if you go to settings, you go to messages, you, are, you have the option of store messages. Now you have the option of 30, uh, 30 days one uh, whole year and then forever so it's going to store your messages uh, forever or it can delete your messages after every 30 days or it can delete your message after every one year. The second one is going to be about the do not disturb feature in messages as well so now you can actually apply do not disturb mode to specific threads so for example if you are stuck in this whole group chat or whatever and you don't really want to you know get into it you don't want to get notifications from it all you have to do is go to the uh, top uh, right hand corner where you guys will be able to see detail and over there you just go ahead and press uh, the do not disturb mode so for that particular thread you will not be able to get any notifications any sound anything whatsoever so that is really really nice the sixth feature I'm going to be, uh, or the seventh feature I'm going to be talking to you guys about is Safari private browsing. So this is a whole new thing. It's been revamped. So basically now you have two departments. One is the normal browsing and the other one is the private browsing. So you tap the tab uh, button and that gives you a whole bird eye view of all of your tabs. Then you press the private mode and that basically uh, kind of turns on or kind of gives you uh, two new tabs and over here these are all private modes so basically they are running under the private mode uh, option so now whatever you browse whatever you do uh, you will not your his the history will not be stored the cookies will not be stored so and if you want to go back to the normal browsing mode all you have to do is go back to the tab view press private and you're back to the normal uh, mode a normal browsing mode uh, seventh is going to be about Siri so Siri got some phenomenal changes and first of all is going to be this new um, this new phrase hot word hey Siri hey Siri what's the time in London in London England it's 4 41 p.m. And it's going to go and turn on Siri. But for now, it only works when your device is on power. So when you are charging it, then you can only say it. So therefore, you guys would have seen this a little bit of a light change because I have to turn off my lamp for this to put it on charger. A uh, set, uh, eighth feature I'm going to be talking about, or the ninth feature I'm going to be talking to you guys about, is going to be Shazam song uh, detection. Well, now Siri can identify which songs are playing. Uh, through the power of Shazam which is now integrated into Siri uh, so go and check this uh, small footage out of this uh, whole identification process also it's worth noting that you do not have to say any command so without any even saying that which song is playing it actually identifies for you hey yo Chase oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. say something to it All 
All right, guys. So the next feature I'm going to be talking about, uh, talking to you guys about, is going to be uh, searching the app store. So now you can actually search the app store for your, uh, for for the apps essentially right from Siri. Download Facebook. Okay, searching for Facebook on the app store. All right, now the next feature I'm going to be talking about is again Safari. So if you go to Safari, there is an option now for RSS subscription as well for shared links. All right, guys, and the next feature I'm going to be talking to you guys about is going to be iBooks. It's got an auto night mode, so basically it can um, turn in itself into the night mode uh, without even you toggling it on every time. The next feature I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the new editing functionality in the Photos app. So now if you're in the Photos app, you guys, you get the ability to increase the contrast, to, in to increase the brightness of the image or decrease it even uh, just by swiping it across, across the picture. And you also get the numerical data as well as to how much contrast has been increased and how much um, you know, brightness has been reduced, whatever. Now the last feature is going to be uh, in the Notification Center. So then in the notification center, you guys now have the ability to have widgets, uh, other third-party widgets as well. So you can have sports center widget, you can have a widget for your eBay, whatever you want. Right now, there isn't really any app which is compatible so that I can't really show you this fe uh, widget feature. Uh, but now also you are able to rearrange your widgets right from the notification center as well. So you don't have to get into the settings every time. All you have to do is press the edit uh, button and then you can you can rearrange it. Uh, and uh, you can also delete that particular widget. So that's it guys. That is really it from this video. It's a pretty long video, I think. Uh, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of the hidden features found in iOS 8. Uh, more videos will be coming up on iOS 8. Uh, so guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, check out more videos, uh, and uh, make sure you guys check out my website as well. So guys, that's it from this video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.